Okay, okay. That's enough. You've had enough, okay? Shooters. Shooters, yes. Weren't they lovely? You had enough of them. Off we go. There we go. Night, night. Get my best to sky. Oh, jeez. Times like this, I just don't want to be a faggot. Sorry. Excuse me for sounding bitter, but I am. I just broke up with my lover, Zeke. I think he was cheating on me. His nickname for me was Next. So I picked myself up, dusted myself off, swallowed my pride because it's still safe. and prepared myself for battle. Although I must confess, this time I wasn't looking forward to it. You see, during the six weeks that Zeke and I had been together, I'd become overly secure about AIDS. AIDS was something that happened to other people. But ever since Magic Johnson, I realized it could even happen to me. <laughs> All of a sudden, that strange new army of penises, which moments before had seemed so innocent, now appeared to me as poison-tipped sabers aimed at my heart. So, not to despair, I sat right down and I drew myself up a list of high-risk groups that I should avoid in my search for a new man. Africans, addicts, Americans, but mostly for their politics. Armenians, oh, nothing to do with AIDS, it's just that I'm part Azerbaijani. An hour later, I was still in the bees. By the time the sun came up, my list was completed, and everybody had been eliminated except for one. A certain Miss Eleanor Parisi, an 83-year-old virgin in perfect health, who lived at 64 Pine Avenue. So I rang her up. I think she'd been expecting my call. She was very nice, and we made a date for the following Saturday. By the time Saturday night rolled around, I was as nervous as a long-tailed polecat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> at 7.30, I rang her doorbell. She greeted me at the door, an absolute vision, in a blue house dress, smelling faintly of rose water. She invited me in. She had to. The neighbors were throwing rocks at me. <laughs> We sat close together in her horsehair sofa and watched Hockey Night in Canada. She let me pet her cat. If you think I'm gonna make a pussy joke, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> Both of us drank way too much ginger ale, and at 10.30 she passed out. Her teeth fell out in her bosom while her knees, so I took them as a memento. Called me sentimental. So I went home, but when I got home I was Still horny. So I masturbated during a rerun of Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> Thinking of Gordy. But only during the commercials. It's just not fair to Mary. All right, Blondie, it's time to go. Oh, look, a pillow already warm. Oh, shooters. Shooters, yes, that's right.